Arsenal Football Club are desperately seeking their replacement for Alexis Sanchez. We have seen today a 50 million and 60 million pound offer for Alexis Sanchez rejected by Arsene Wenger and the Arsenal board. My personal view is this has been just to slow down the process as Arsenal try to finalise a replacement for the Chilean. Reports coming out of a, a very prominent Chilean-based newspaper that Alexis Sanchez has told his colleagues in Chile during a light training this morning before their game that it was a done deal that he is joining Manchester City. Arsenal are delaying the release of this information. This is what I'm being read to believe, that Arsenal are on the lookout for three players. Mares, Draxler and Thomas Lamar are one of the three. The three players that, that Arsene Wenger wants that he's trying to bring into the football club. We know, know on deadline day that, that rumours get out of control. One that's just breaking now is that Arsenal are preparing a £92 million bid for Thomas Lamar. Now we know that Arsene Wenger is in France right now. Some are suggesting it's because he's trying to do a deal, he's in Paris to be precise, that he's trying to do a deal for Lamar. Some are saying it's because of Draxler. Others are saying it's because he just works for French TV and France have a game, I think this evening, maybe tomorrow. That could be why he's there. I, I'm not sure if Arsenal would ever pay this much money. And I'm putting that question to you, my viewers, my supporters and my subscribers of my channel. Do you really believe that Arsene Wenger would pay £92 million for anyone? I think if he even had the opportunity to spend £92 million to sign Messi or Ronaldo, I still don't think Arsene Wenger would part with that much money. However, something needs to be done. I cannot for the life of me see uh, a future at Arsenal for Alexis Sanchez. If Arsenal are going to allow that deal to go through and they do not recoup anything they do not recoup anything in terms of additional players there's going to be problems now i how do i put this if i'm being really really honest with you as i said i don't see this 92 million pound bid being true you might find that the total package including salary is worth about 92 million however venga just do it honestly arsene venga just go out there and offer the money you clearly have it. The report suggested that Arsenal had around about £150 million at the start of the window. With what you've purchased and what you've sold, I think you're up. I think you've made a profit. Spend that money on your squad. Offer £92 million for Thomas Lamar. While you're at it, try and sign Mares as well. It does look as though Mares uh, is in Barcelona. A few people Snapchatted him a little bit earlier on today. Ladies and gentlemen tuning in, please hit that like button. Please hit that share button and give us your views and thoughts. Do you see there being any credibility that Arsenal are even putting a bid in? Forget the 92 million. That's what the press is saying. Do you think this deal could happen? Do you think that Arsene Wenger is going to try uh, and, and sign um, Thomas Lamar? Hit the like button, hit the share button and get your comments in. I'm going to them now. Lots of comments here. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, is this true? Well, that's what I'm reading in, on Deadline Day reports. Uh, it's true. It's on the Sky Sports website. There we go. Sky Sports, have, I, li I saw it on the Express newspaper. Sky Sports have now picked up on it. There must be an element of truth. Or at least someone said it, if, if that makes sense, for Sky Sports to run with it. So what's up with the Sanchez news? So just to recap on Alexis Sanchez, a 50 million and a 60 million pound bid have been rejected by Arsenal. Manchester City, though, believe this is just cannon fodder. It's Arsenal delaying the process until they sign. So they actually know that if they get another 60 million pound in for Sanchez, clubs are going to demand more money for Draxler, for, for, for Mares or Thomas Lamar, should, should that be they sign. Sanchez has told his colleagues in the Chilean national team that the deal was done. He's going to Manchester City. So that ends any chance of him going to Man United or Chelsea um, as rumours started to appear. Fresh trim. Thanks. I've got no product in my hair, but yeah, yeah, that's it. The only problem will be personal terms. Well, Jack, Thomas Lamar wanted to join Arsenal. He pursued it. He pushed for it. It didn't happen. Maybe this whole talk of, of Liverpool, maybe that was... Partly the Lamar camp trying to get Arsenal to, to come back in because if Thomas Lamar does still end up at Liverpool tonight 
and not at Arsenal. There is going to be utter, utter carnage. Are Man United going to buy anyone? This is such a disappointing window. See, I don't think it's disappointing at all. We re-signed one of the best strikers in the world in Zlatan. We purchased one of the best strikers in the world in Romelu Lukaku. We signed the Man Matic, who's been amazing. Victor Lindelof needs a little bit of time, but he will improve. We've already seen improvements in Bayi, in Jones. We've already seen improvements in Pogba, Mkhitaryan, Martial. It's a great Man United squad. Who we are says, pissed Arsenal didn't sign Aurea. Yes, he's gone to Tottenham. I will be doing an update on Tottenham in a little while that are very close to securing the signature of uh, Lorente. Of course, Aurea has already been announced. They signed Sanchez earlier on in the window from Ajax. And they're also looking up, they're having a big battle right now with West Ham United over the signature of Andre Gomez. West Ham still seem to be favourites on that. Who are favourites to sign Mares? Well, I thought that Arsenal were. And then he, somebody snapchatted a picture with him and put the tag on it saying that he was in Barcelona. I don't know how true that is. Maybe somebody can, can debunk that. Maybe it was an old photo from many, many moons ago. Someone let me know. Is Jamie Vardy going there? Don't know. Ali Khan says Lamar is rubbish. But he's not. Terry, Monaco just accepted Arsenal's deal. Did they? Right now, did they accept that? I'm going to check that on the computer whilst I'm talking to you lot. Are you serious? Did they really accept that? If I'm ser if I search this and it turns out not to be true, I think I might. Oh, hang on. There we go. It's highlighted in blue here. What's it saying on here? Arsenal bid 92 million to sign Lamar from Monaco. Arsenal launched a 92 million pound bid for Monaco for them. There's more to follow. Nothing else has been said on that on Sky Sports. It's accepted. Where, where are you getting the news from? Tell me where you're getting the news from. God damn. Is this real? Let me search it now. Where are you getting the news from? Nash at 92, they would be stupid not to accept it. It's true. If Arsenal have indeed put this bid in. Remember, I just broke this news before Sky did. I feel honoured. <laughs> well, I, I got the information from a different newspaper. Arsenal signed Messi. No, they didn't. NBC Sports are saying it. Uh, telly. So French publications. Where... You getting this from? I'm get. I, I read this in a newspaper. I had it confirmed to me from a friend of mine who works within the sort of the footballing world. Sky Sports have now put it on their website. This is this is true news. Ninety two million pound bid from Arsenal for Thomas Lamar. How the hell can Monaco turn this down? They can't turn it down. Sasha Simpson, you must be pumped. This is going to break massively in the in the in the next little while. Terry, I got it from Bleacher Report. Okay. They're all going to pick up on it now, aren't they? They're all watching me. <laughs> Andy Messing. Who are favourites of Van Dyke? Liverpool. They're still the favourites. When's the earliest he could play for Arsenal as he has um, completed a medical... It, the next round of games, he'd be playing for Arsenal. Please, ladies and gentlemen, over 350 of you tuning in, please hit that like button. Please hit that share button. We're going to stay here for a few more minutes before moving on. So many more stories to talk about. Lots of people saying Lamar's bid has been accepted. Is Sanchez leaving then? Hassan, where have you been for three months? Sanchez has always been leaving. It's just Arsene Wenger and Arsenal doing really poor business. These prices are ridiculous. Not really. Not in the modern day game. Not when not, not, not when teams like Arsenal are getting paid £150 million pound a year in, in just in TV money. Just in TV money. Burn down the Emirates. Maybe not with Thomas Lamar in it. As long as Coutinho doesn't go, I'll be happy. Uh, look, of course, if Liverpool keep Coutinho and don't get Lamar, uh, Liverpool will be happy. Arsenal, though, I sat there and said this. Were they really going to let Liverpool come in in the 11th hour and steal their main target outside of Alexandra uh, Lacazette? I couldn't see that happening. Sorry, I had a scratch on my leg. Lamar is a downgrade to Alexis Sanchez. Well, look, when Man United allowed Cristiano Ronaldo to go, every player was going to be a downgrade. If Paul Pogba left Man United tomorrow, nearly every single midfielder in the world is a downgrade. That's what happens when you have one of the very best players out there. If Sanchez signs for City, where would he play? He'd play on the left, he'd play on the right, he'd play in the centre. Rotation, 
uh, is going to be key for teams like Man City. And it, well, he does, if he does go to Man City, if it, if it gets finalised, what a signing. Is it accepted, man? Finally, Arsenal um, gets some backbone. Uh, bet, he is better uh, than Draxler for cheaper. Draxler wouldn't cost you 92 million. <laughs> Tom says, for F's sake, 92 million, he would be gone um, for 8 to 80 years yesterday. He would have gone for 80 yesterday, sorry. Maybe, maybe, but if that's what the club are demanding, maybe Liverpool's bid of 75 million was turned down. Maybe that's gone through and we don't know about it. Even if Arsenal get Lamar, he will be watching the game from the bench as Wenger will play Monreal at left midfield. That's what the Alpha Bond says. Maybe he will. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for tuning in uh, to this stream. Please leave your comments below. Subscribe to the Football Terrace. I'm going to be back all evening on and off with transfer news and then stream live for the entire last hour. We'll be talking about Chelsea. And Chelsea, well, I am going to do a video on this, but stay tuned for it. Ch Chelsea have now, in my opinion, had a horrendous transfer window. Horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Someone's saying, why am I ending already? I've been on like 12 minutes. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you all soon. Take care. Good evening. God bless. See you in a bit.